Dude, this game is challenging AF. Menos, Psy Shatter, a game that gives you telekinetic powers and also a bunch of guns. If you like the Matrix and if you think Metal Gear Solid's a cool game, that's the first thing I think of when I take a look at the screenshots for this game that's available now on Steam. Pretty cool, actually. It seems to have one of those like uh, stories, kind of like Control or whatnot, where it's like a government agency and you seem to be like one of the creations or soldiers or whatever that they tried to have control over and now you're resisting man if you guys uh, want to see more of this don't resist the urge to smash that like button and of course to subscribe thanks again for all the support as we take our first look at menos size shatter it's gonna be a tough one i'm gonna die a lot alert i'm gonna die a lot i have a feeling all right well let's go ahead and jump into a new game and see what it's all about oh boy uh, oh, are we already going? I I have no control. It's me. Hi, me. How are you? Are you outside? No, I'm in my room. Tell your soldiers to stand down. You've come home. You have to let me help you. I'm sorry, but I can't let you in. I'm not giving you a choice. Oh, wow. We're, like, outside the government facility right now. In, like, camo gear. What's that noise? Oh, there's a window here. Uh, right mouse button for telekinesis. Whoa! <laughs> Get wrecked. Hey, a gun. Okay. Uh, left alt to look around. Oh, I can look, but I can't grab anybody. Ooh, this is going to be tough. Three guys. Uh, boy, we're going to die. Oh, did I do it? Oh, I got him. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to shoot a lot, because if you get shot once, it's all over. Act 1. Administration. A little Hotline Miami vibes from this one, too. Cool. And made by a single developer. That's pretty damn amazing, man. This from just a small little tiny budget. Okay, we got two guys over here. Oh, can I mark dudes? Oh, this is just who you're selecting. Alright, let's silently take you out, sir. <laughs> silently smash, smash. Pound, pound. Okay, let's... Can I fling two guys into each other? Oh, get wrecked. Oh, 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 quatch. Okay, all right. All right, now I have an MP40. That's cool. I mean MP40. MP5. Well, maybe an MP40. Who knows? Maybe some time travel in this one. You can you can trip guys up. Oh, oh. Uh-oh. Now everyone's going to be coming. Nope, no one cared. Okay. Give me that better gun. There we go. It's cool we can pick up guns, though, through the Force. It's like we're a Jedi. But with guns. I guess that's what the Matrix was kind of like. Okay, so it's easy to take out two dudes. What about three? If I grab this guy and smash him into that guy. Oh, damn. This third guy is way too fast. Alright, we can try that again, though. So, one to two. Oh, no, he immediately gets triggered. And he starts running. He's still alive, though. Oh. Oh, darn. Okay. So it's not as easy as I thought to kill people. After a couple of seconds, they're like, they don't count as an object anymore that you can hit other people with. Like that, and then you'll, you have to drop them. Okay. So you can't, like, continuously carry somebody and throw them into people. So that's about, yeah, that's it. That's all the time you get. So to kill multiple people is going to be tough. Well, that's already, like, what, three down? Okay. So these two are easy. Just grab that guy. Boom, boom. At least knocks him down. Can I throw a body into there and, like... Oh, they don't, <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> All that noise and they don't care. Oh, let's try this. You into you two, and then we'll see who comes this way. Okay, well, that's a little easier. 
Okay. And then just that guy, which is pretty easy. Well, I hope I can do this one. Oh, that was close. Almost didn't make it there, guys. Whew. Oh, this is really cool. Although, I don't know what's up with this, like, green-blue style. Is this just how this room is, or what? Oh, this will be easy. Oh, now, oh, cubicle hell. Oh, weird. Imagine sitting next to somebody else in a cubicle like that. <laughs> nice. Got one more. Okay. Gotta be really careful about killing people versus, like, stunning them, I guess. St stun lock. Stun lock. Oh, damn. Sir, I didn't know you were there. These guys are like dead shots, man. They're just like instant, just everybody's just a Fortnite player. It's crazy. These guys are really good. Okay, that's three down. So we got a guy in there. Okay, let's grab you, sir. Wow, these guys don't care? He's still alive. There we go, now he's dead. Like when they jiggle around, that's when you know they kind of died from your telekinetic awesomeness. Is that a shotgun? No, I don't think so. Pretty easy just to fling two dudes into each other, but they just gotta be stationary. Wait, is he hanging from the ceiling? Wow, I threw him up into the roof. Cool how you can grab through the walls, though. Otherwise, you'd be dead. Can you die, sir? Sir? Can you... Sir? I, th I think he's dead. Oh, there we go. Now he's dead. All right, so everybody's got to be dead before you go through to another area. So it's got to be combat. No negotiating with... The government. Okay, well now obviously they can see through these. Oh, there's patrol now. Oh, and the music's badass. Oh, <laughs> there's a guy right there. <laughs> Look at that. Two shots like directly into the back. These guys do not miss. Wait a minute. Oh, must have been another patrol coming around. I see just two guys in the top, so that one guy must have been on patrol. So, boy, this... Oh, I bet I could fling him through here, though. This guy's gonna see me, though. Can I, like... Oh, please. Those two had no idea I was here. Damn it! Okay, it's getting really hard to kill guys. I wish I could just, like, choose to kill them when I touch them and then, then fling the body. Oh, that's cool, though. They can go right through the glass. Oh, I got a Steam achievement. That's cool. Just like my portfolio. I don't get it, but okay. Oh, this is going to get even harder now. Okay, so if I fling this guy into this guy and then these two, but then I got to watch out for the top, so... So this guy into that guy. Or all three. Oh, I should have just shot. It seems like, actually, the... Shooting is a lot more stealthy than the throwing because bodies go everywhere, but bullets don't seem to trigger them. Like, unless the gunshot is, like, literally next to them. Oh, yeah, the, look at that. Wow. Even when I was, like, f like in middle of firing, these guys are faster than a bullet. I wonder how bad the stealth is or good. Oh, he saw me right away. Oh, that's already four. Wow, that's four dudes? No. One, two, three, four, five. Was that six? Oh, man. This is going to be tough as hell. All right, let's go top then. Top side. So if I grab him. Oh, no. <laughs> Immediate bullet, dude. Immediate bullet. I love it. Man, that is tricky. Okay, so if we grab this guy on patrol... It's amazing how they can see you and shoot before you can even, like... Yeah, he's not even within, like, telekinetic range. So they can see you 
and shoot before you can... Like, I can't far shoot like this. Like, I can't shoot that way. But we can, le we can at least see the lay of the land. Okay. Just trying to get tactics down, like learning the game's rules and mechanics, you know? I don't think these guys react to bodies on the floor. That guy would not die. Oh, there! now he's finally dead. Okay. So it really varies. So there's a lot of inconsistency here. So if you're doing like a speed run or if you're trying to get good, it's you got to learn the limits here. I want to grab this guy and pull him down for stealth, but the two over here might see him. The two standing in front of the corridor. And there's one guy on patrol at the top and one at the bottom. And there's a lot of dudes in the south side of the building. Okay. Let's try to go for stealth. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I wonder if I can just pull him down. Oh, now if I th thump him into the top of the cubicles, they're going to hear too. It's now just become like troubleshooting.exe. Well, that guy already heard him. That's okay, though. We can have this guy killed. Give him the jiggles. Come on, man. Now, apparently the guy in the south... That guy there heard that? But yet, sometimes... We, okay, if I shoot, how many people will come? Let's see. Okay, so everybody comes. But sometimes it's not like that. Oh, this is a cool learning process, though. Okay. So let's grab this guy. So so long as we throw him up here, they won't they won't hear him. Okay. So it's just got to be a little further north. He's just hanging out. Don't worry about him. Okay. So that took care of those two. Then when three comes around, I'm going to have to just wait for him up here. But I, I don't know if they can see bodies. Maybe when they go invisible, it won't trigger them. Let's see. We'll have to get the timing right. Okay. So grab this guy into the wall. There we go. Okay, then we'll have this guy come down here. Now, will he see the bodies? Yeah, okay, so if they're transparent, they're basically gone. Okay. Just lets you know that somebody's dead. We got three bodies piled up in the back. That's awesome. Okay, if I grab this guy, these two might get triggered. So I should probably throw them. But let's try this. I want to try to go for the guys up in the top. In the corridor. Right here. Oh, they can already see me? But they won't shoot through the glass. Oh. Little cheese. Never mind. Damn it! <laughs> Oh, he can just shoot through the glass by literally just holding his gun through the glass. Okay. Uh, that's something we got to be careful of. All right, I think we got this, though. One down. Two down. We wait for the patrol. Three. I just don't want to pull three at a time, though. That's too much. Really? He just got right back up? Oh, this is good. I somehow triggered that guy, but he's too fast for the telekinesis. All right, that might be a better way. Let's try that. So one. Oh, he heard something for sure. It'd be cool if there was like an alert uh, bar or something above their heads to let you know that they heard something or maybe they see something like cones. But maybe that's too easy. Wow, that guy, that guy heard that guy get picked up? I didn't know telekinesis was that loud. Can you die? There we go. I'd rather have this, please. There we go. Okay, so now we got four left. So long as these two guys can fling into each other. Oh god, that probably triggered the other two. Okay, we're fine. I would have been dead by now. I guess we can just shoot. I don't trust guns, though. Because to shoot, I have to uh, be within the same range as these guys. And I don't want to do that. I have to be in their line of sight. And that's death. Okay, watch for patrols. 
That's it, two in the south. There's got to be one more up there then. Come on. Oh, come on, man. What? Just one rando w running? Oh, that was the last dude, too. You got... Oh, man. That's painful. That hurts. Man, I was doing so good. But now we know the solution. Sir, could you not shoot so loud, please? You're not triggering any of the guards. Oh, damn it. <laughs> There's a lot of inconsistencies here, so you gotta be perfect, but I like it. It's a challenge. But now I think we got, you know, we got the solution here to this problem. Because we need to be a little bit more in cover. I wonder if there'll be ma uh, user-made levels. Of course, this is just made kind of by one person as a, a fun project, and I think this is really cool. I want to see if bodies trigger. Can you guys die? There we go. Well, they, they kind of fade right away, so the moment you grab somebody, you get like maybe four seconds, three, four, if they're not dead. That's a lot of bodies. Pretty good for speedrunning, though. Wait, is that guy alive? No. <laughs> Sir, what are you doing? All right, let's get him the jiggles. There we go. Hit him with the jiggles. The problem, though, about bodies going uh, gray like that, too, though, is when somebody's dead, you, you have to drop them. And you can't use them as, like, a weapon anymore. I need to see if there's objects I can throw. I can't, though. Like, I can't pick up a computer. I can only pick up people, so I can't, like, throw a chair across the room. All right, now this one last guy. Oh, I got him. Okay. Well, that was a pain in the ass. Okay, we got him. That's good. All right, now we're getting better, though. We're learning techniques that we can use. And uh, some techniques that the enemy uses. Got to be somebody on patrol in the south. Three guys right there. We can't get any closer. Tripping them up like that gives me at least a second. At least a second to, like, do that. Guns are just no good. They're too slow. Oh, look at that. He kicked him right in the face and didn't even fall down. Oh, maybe if we time it right, maybe we can get all three of these guys. Four. Oh, see, he was already dead. And I couldn't even use him to fling the other guys around. Man. You gotta be super precise. All right, let's try guns, just to see. We'll be dead, though. Never mind. Thank you, guns. <laughs> all right, well, I was wrong about that. I didn't trust him, but all right. Worked out. I just expect the enemies, uh, as when we try to escape the last room, the enemy's reflexes and line of sight is way better than ours. Like... I'll be dead before I see somebody at the bottom of this hallway. Like, I'm likely to die just because I can't see. Okay, there's no one here. Okay, so we got one guy in that room. And we got three guys in the room on the left and then one above. Can I actually use telekinesis? Oh, I can use telekinesis through here. Well, that feels like cheating, honestly. Okay. Well, I guess it makes up for some of the speed of the enemy. 
giving me a little bit more time to do telekinesis through a giant wall. Okay, well, wow, room's clear. All right. I can be shot through there easily, though. A lot of glass in this place. They, oh, God. <laughs> they certainly do love their glass. I thought he was looking down, not across. All right, this will be easy. Okay, that's everybody, right? Okay, so we gotta clear this room. You gotta like uh, pre-shoot. There's a rainbow six or something. There we go. Guys, upside down. Now we should be able to go in here, get rid of this guy. But the guy over there doesn't want to come over, okay. I don't think we can shoot through the cubicles, which would be nice. Oh, he already started coming after me before he even saw me. Can't even grab him. Wow, somebody actually missed? No way. Well, that hallway must be really long. I'm grabbing him. Well, there we go. I don't know how I didn't grab him there. Come on, gyrate to death. Is he dead? Now he is. Jeez. I feel like someone at the bottom of the hallway is going to kill me. Okay. <laughs> that guy saw his buddy die. Didn't care. I think I was dead before a bullet hit me? Wow. Okay. Oh, that guy just turned to dust. Knowing the map is like 90% right here. Wow, how did I not die? He should have shot me right there. Some of these guys shoot from the length of a football field. See, identify, and shoot you before you even have a chance to like fully come around a corner. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. I wonder if there's any special enemy types in this game. I'd love to see some other people like... Uh, with my kind of powers, like in a boss battle type thing. I could not grab him behind this little cubicle. A lot of things seem to be inconsistent. I can, you know, reach across like like that. Or like across a huge uh, concrete wall, but... Huh. Like, we have no problem doing that. That works. Okay, he's still not dead. There we go. Yay. Ah, getting confident with the shooting, though. That feels good. Okay. I wonder if there's other gun types as well. We've just basically seen the SMG and the handgun so far. OK, 
Okay, that worked out. This guy thinks he saw us, but then gave up. No dying anymore. Wow. And he's not going to come after me, and I can't see him to deal with him. I'm going to have to, like, pre-shoot. Wow, and I got his ass. And that's everybody. So two times now where I could have cleared a room much earlier, but it just kind of comes down to what seems to be RNG as to whether or not, I don't know, you're just going to get him, I guess. Although some of these guys look different. This guy looks like he has night vision goggles on and like combat gear and this guy's just in a suit. Okay, we'll patrol with two guys stationary. Oh, that's cool. He's like waiting. Oh, that's smart. I don't know if that's his patrol pattern or if he kind of like suspected me being here because of the telekinesis. Oh, wow. Three? Hmm. Oh, I'm down? Really? Wow. I thought I got him. Back to it. When these guys run, they're very difficult to grab. There we go. Didn't look like you could shoot guys when they were down, but when that guy tried to get up, then he finally went down. Hmm. There we go. Kind of cool how if they get thrown into the wall, sometimes they don't die, but the drop to the floor will get them. I don't want to go out to the right. It's too far open. We'll try to get these two together up against the wall. A lot of security here. Is this like Denny's corporate office or something? That guy like immediately ran to me. Like I grabbed his buddy and then he was just like, okay, I know he's there, but I can't. <laughs> the game rules say I can't go for him until something weird happens. Okay, he's still alive. Wow, and he ran into the desk? Okay. Damn. And okay, we're going to come from the other side. That glass is just not going to be good. Looks like the game's in introducing other rules too, you know, like glass where they can see and shoot through. But I wonder if they'll... It'd be kind of cool if there was like bulletproof glass where they could see you but couldn't shoot. And it would change things up a little bit. Okay, we can get two of these guys. He's shooting, I don't know why. So God, God. Oh, there was a guy there. Oh man. Oh, was the door right up there? Son of a I didn't even see that guy. Well, at least that's the first time that happened. Oh well. We got the route. That's 90% of the fight. There we go. We can also press shift to uh, walk. I don't know what the point of that is, though. Oh, darn. All right, I want to beat this area, and then I'm going to call it good. I got a vendetta now against that last guy. That happens, you know. Oh, I forgot about you, sir. <laughs> Sorry to trip you up there. That guy died from tripping. I think there must be some sort of a health bar on these guys, then. Where if they don't drop from a certain distance, they also take damage from falling all the time and being thrown around. Because if they, uh... 
I don't know. Seems like there's something attributed to that. It'll be interesting to see how this game works. Okay, so these two again. There we go. I'm like Lord Vader with a gun. Is there three guys here? Really? Wait, what was that action? Did he die? It's going pretty smoothly. This is the run, boys. There also is a little bit of a cooldown between each use of telekinesis. <laughs> that guy's up in the ceiling. There's like a little cooldown between each use. I didn't mean to grab that guy. Um, might be best just to grab one and then shoot two here. For consistency reasons. Oh yeah. How's the uh, telekinesis cooldown? Last time I was a little more patient with this guy, but I think we can. I think we can do it like this. Really? There we go. Yeah, it's just easier. Okay. <laughs> Trying to shoot me through the wall, not fair. There we go. Now it's got, it has the guy on patrol, yep. That guy's still alive. Nope. Died somehow. Another, another pre-shot. Okay, and then there's the three there. Okay. Man, I can't believe I didn't see that one guy. I was getting so... Uh, I guess it's just the, the, you know, the unknown. Like, you drive through neighborhoods and places faster when you know where you're going, right? Like, when you're looking for an address. When you're the pizza guy, that's when you slow down. You're stopping at all the stop sign. Well, hopefully you're stopping and, like, looking around for the address. Here it'll cost you. You gotta know what you didn't know before you didn't know it. That's the point of this one. Sir, would you die? Jeez. Okay. Alright, there we go. Okay, so it's that open hallway. Wait, what? Oh yeah, no wonder. Okay, see, I missed him a second time. I don't know why I don't see that guy. Damn, that's the third time! Well, there's like one guy left, and he always gets me, always with the last guy. Oh, well, we'll just go ahead and call this one first try. Cool, guys. This game out now, uh, I, I like the whole telekinesis thing. It's not a not a bad game, not the worst game I've ever played. Very interesting and cool that it's made by one person. And there's obviously a whole story going on. I guess we'll see what's going on up here, and then uh, we'll call it a day. Smashing. Hello? Why have you come back? After all this time. I forgot my keys. I put that away. We're alone now. Oh, very romantic. The door that we opened. We need to close it. That might explain the telekinesis, maybe. Cool. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you to pick this one up if you're interested in the story or the mechanics. Pretty neat. See you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Have a fantastic good afternoon, good evening, and good night.